What's up guys, Logan here and I am back with another episode of Product Prodigy. Sorry it's been a while since I've got to you guys. Uh, I've been working with my dad out of town and I'm finally settled back at home and I'm ready for this video. So today I'm giving my full one year review of Grand Canyon University. I did one after the first semester, now I'm doing one after a full year. So if you don't know me, I was a transfer student there. So I was a junior last year and that was my first year there. So, I'm going to cut it down in sections, basically. So, the first one that I'm going to talk about is food options. So, I like the food options, but they are good and bad. The good thing about the food options is, simply, there's, there's great tasting food. There's, uh, there's the Habit, there's Chick-fil-A, there's Subway, there's... Um, Qdoba, which is good, but I like Chipotle better. Uh, there's Taco Bell. Um, there's even like healthy options like Fresh Fusion, Pita Jungle, uh, their own like coffee shop, and a lot more options. And so the food options are really good there. You do kind of get tired of it, but none of the food really gets too old if you kind of eat somewhere different every day. The bad thing about our food options is there's not really like a uh, cafeteria style type food where you see at some universities where they freshly cook all sorts of different uh, foods. And there is one little cafe or cafeteria circle thing that we have that makes a little buffet of foods, but I'm talking about like one time I visited University of Texas and they had an enormous cafeteria with all different types of buffet style foods uh, you could eat from. And that's not something that Grand Canyon University really has. It's mainly just fast foods and stuff, which can get kind of old, especially if you live in the dorm and don't have a kitchen. Good thing about me next year is I'm going to be in an apartment with a kitchen so I'm gonna be able to cook a lot of my meals I do love to cook and eat healthier so that's gonna be a major plus for next year second section I'm going to be talking about is living so I did not live in the apartments that they have so I can't speak on those yet that will be next year but I had to live in the transfer dorm It is a dorm specified mainly for uh, transfer students I will say it is a lot better than a lot of universities provide uh, because a lot of universities have like a dorm that's just you walk in and that's the one room. Whereas at GCU, you walk in, there's uh, not a kitchen, but like a sink and stuff. You can put like food and stuff and a living room. Uh, we call it the common room and then there's two bedrooms to the sides and you have to share it with either one person or two people luckily i only had to share with one and not two i would have went crazy if there was two other people living in the same bedroom but then those two bedrooms both get a bathroom so you don't have like a bathroom a community hall bathroom you get your own bathroom that you only have to share with your one roommate so it is really nice compared to other colleges i just would have really loved having the kitchen which i did not have but for for the dorm just comparing it to other colleges they are pretty great next section i'm going to talk about is events and community I do gotta say that Grand Canyon University is one of the best colleges in my opinion when it comes to this section. They make you feel so welcomed, so at home, they make the events so upbeat and entertaining, and there is always something to do almost every single day you can find something to do on this campus. You're almost never really bored on campus if you like getting out, meeting new people, having things to do. This is a college that you wanna be at because they do really good at their events and not just their events, but uh, like their sports, 
they're really big on their basketball. We have a pretty good D1 basketball team and we are ranked like top 10 in the nation for best student sections. Like we have some big schools coming in and playing against us and they tell us that Grand Canyon is one of the hardest arenas to play at just because of how rowdy and how loud the students get. So if you're really into that, this is a school you want to check out. Not just the basketball, but other sports as well. Like they get into the soccer, the baseball. It's all fun. Unfortunately, we do not have football, which is my number one favorite sport, but but it's okay. If you are interested in playing a sport, but kind of just for fun, there is an immense amount of club sports on campus and not just club sports, but intramural sports, which is even more just uh, for fun. You kind of just get some friends together. You can make a team and you can play some intramural sports against other uh, GCU students. At least I think it's uh, against other GCU students. There might be against other schools as well, but I'm not fully sure. Next section I'll be talking about is the classes how they are, how difficult they are, and how the teachers are. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how the classes are set up. I really love the setups of the classrooms. They're really clean, proper, put together. None of the classrooms really look old or anything like that. Like when I visited a UCLA, man, some of those classrooms looked like they were 100 years old and never remodeled, whereas here, they are really nice classrooms. I like these uh, classrooms a lot. The teachers are hit or miss. I've had, I feel like I've had more good experiences with the teachers than I have bad, but it honestly just depends on the teacher. I feel like I've gotten taught pretty well. A couple of them have been pretty boring, but for the most part, not that bad. Uh, I did have some teachers that like don't allow laptops or cell phones, which is I which I think is ridiculous at a college university. Um, we are adults. I think we should be treated as such. And even if our phones distract us from class, we are the ones paying the tuition and you as a teacher are going to be getting paid either way so i don't understand why it's so important for you to care if our cell phones or laptops are out whereas i also have had some teachers that don't give a crap at all about electronics have their laptops phones anything bring it and they do not care and as most of you probably know grand canyon is a private christian university and it is very based off the christian religion they are accepting of anyone of any religion uh, or or any sort of background they accept anyone in but their basis does go off the christian values so if that's something you're interested in they do implement it a lot like they have chapels they have bible study groups and each hall and apartment uh, none of this is mandatory uh, you don't have to go to any of this except i think if you are an ra i think you have to go to the chapels not sure next section i'm going to talk about is the layout of the campus so there are pros and cons to this campus the number one con of the layout is parking so there is enough parking for everyone but depending on where you live you might have to park very far away from where your either where your dorm or apartment is because some of the dorms are placed like on one far corner of the campus whereas the parking garages are way on the other side of campus so you might have to go a half mile or more to your parking garage, that's, not, that's just something you have to prepare for. And hopefully you have a skateboard, scooter, bike, etc., to get you to your car faster. But in the dorm I was in, it was in one far corner of the campus and the parking garage I was in was at the way other end. And it wasn't fun, but I just took my skateboard 
and it wasn't a huge deal. Luckily in the apartment I'm in, I believe there are parking garages that are close behind that one, so I shouldn't have to travel far. It honestly just depends on what dorm or apartment you're living in. Some are literally right next to the parking garage. Like my girlfriend's dorm was literally right next to her parking garage. She didn't have to walk far at all. I would honestly just suggest bringing some sort of transfer transportation for on campus like a skateboard scooter or bike because you are honestly going to be walking a lot on this campus it's a very very large campus and to get around by just walking is not the funnest way especially when you get there in like august september when it's still like a hundred degrees outside and you are burning like hell so i would just honestly suggest bringing something that will get you to classes faster it'll definitely help you getting to classes on time too as well also for how far you're going to be walking to your classes it honestly just depends on what classes you have and where your living space is because some of the class buildings are close to the apartments and dorms and some are pretty far like across campus so i can't really speak for that it just depends on what classes you get and where you're living also just talking about the uh, campus in general based off uh, just cleanliness uh, how it looks and like the colors and the remodels i honestly love it i think it just stays really clean for the most part sometimes on we have a street called lopes way with like some food places and stuff it can get really smelly like sewage but other than that it's it's not every day uh, it's just here and there but other than that the campus is really clean they keep it remodeled for the most part and they're building something new every single day pretty much they've just built some new apartments they've just built some new parking garages we got some new uh, food choices like pita jungle and taco bell were both two new options that we just got last year i'm not sure what else we might be getting they haven't really said anything about new options but they're building something new every day it's it's pretty crazy next section i'll be talking about is the students so honestly there's a broad spectrum of students at grand canyon so there's the nice fun christian type students that are just uh, fun to be around and then at the way other end there's those students that are kind of just there to be there and go to a and travel to arizona state every other day to party my name is rod and i like to party so honestly there's students in that whole spectrum so whoever you are you will probably find someone that you like we're not all really the same there there's a lot of different types of students at grand canyon i think that's all the sections i really wanted to cover about my school i honestly i, I loved it so much i met so many good people met my amazing girlfriend got to do so many things with the school and not just the school but the whole city of phoenix in general i honestly love that city there's just so much to do there so that's another plus to the school i loved most of my classes most of my teachers and had such an amazing time i can't believe next year is going to be my last year there i'm so excited to start i start uh, mid-august and so i have about two months until i start again i'm already t ready to go back and i'm just ready to finish out my last year strong and excited to get started if you have any other questions about my school just leave a comment down below and i'll try to get back to you with the best answers possible and that's all i have for you guys today make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel i will see you next time on product prodigy peace